Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. This is for the sign of Aries. It is a general reading. That being said, it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't sound like it's your story, check your other placements. Your messages could be there. And so Aries, um, first of all, looking here, here, and here at, at these um, uh, cards, um, it looks like you you're not getting along with your partner or you, you don't see eye to eye. There could be a lot of fighting and uh, you are hurting with the claw here. Um, I feel like you're afraid uh, that you're going to lose this person. Um, it's like in this card of incompatibility, um, it can be that you have a lot of differences. Um, you don't like the same things. You don't have the the same beliefs. You're not on the same page at all. You fight all the time. But yet, something holds you together. And uh, here we have the partner over here. So this is some type of... Uh, imbalance not seeing eye to eye a difference of opinion um and i feel like you're looking for a solution with the master here um it could be that um you're imagining the worst uh, you may feel like time is running out and that uh, something needs to change okay so I feel like um, you're looking at the details of, of re, you know, some type of reconciliation to put an end to the fighting, uh, to move this to a better place. Um, but you don't know what you're going to receive. I feel like you want to uh, have a talk with your partner about change, about... Uh, trying to make things better uh, between you because you don't want to lose them. Um, there seems to be a lot of issues between you two, but like like this card is saying, there's there's something that binds you two together still. Um, maybe a lot of things have been said and you're feeling very sensitive here. Uh, the kangaroo on top of the claw speaks to unsettled times and a need to plan ahead but um, the sunrise is a beautiful card to be seeing here as well the dolphin um, so um, I'll talk about those a little bit later I feel like you want to say something with the bell something the bell is like uh An announcement or revealing something or they are going to announce something to you okay it's something of great importance will be announced or is learned here uh, in the near future having to do with that situation so you're learning what you need to know here so you're looking for a solution with the master um, and uh, a solution for change. See, the skull is here. It's also here at the foot. This is about change and uh, learning what you need to know with the hierophant and making the uh, necessary adjustments with temperance because something is out of balance between you two. Now, um, with the ant, uh, this card signifies that you will have success if you are willing to work hard for it and of course uh, with the well-being here if it is for the good of all involved okay um, so we see that there was an argument and I feel like you are hurting from some angry words said this it's possible this these uh, this is uh, something that's been going on for some time. This uh, uh, this fighting, this arguing, unable to get along, and there's a lot of uh, bitterness and resentment from that. But again, 
this card says there's something that binds you two together still. The Seven of Shields is about, um, <clears throat> excuse me, it is about uh, gaining some type of understanding through uh, communication or trying to understand something through communication. One minute, I'll be right back. Sorry about that, I had to cough. And uh, so, uh, <clears throat> Seven of Shields, he's looking, he's in this tower and he's looking to the past. So he's trying to get a bigger view of something that happened in the past or things that have been happening because I feel it's it's like a constant that's causing you all of this grief. Um, ghosts from the past um, having to do with all of this arguing and uh, whatever has been going on between you. Um, we see the arguing here again. So this has to do with the arguing. So whatever you're seeking out of the past having to do with this fighting, uh, possibly even a standoff between you, you will regain, uh, you will gain that understanding here in the future because that's what the dolphin is, is indicating that something is gained out of the past and this is what you're seeking in the past over here. Okay, so there's some type of harvest here. So you are going to get something out of this. Some type of wisdom, I feel, will be gained. Now, from that, you have the well, which, which is about wishes. And it is a very, very, very lucky card to get. Now, it signifies that something you wish for will come true. But, of course, on the condition I mentioned earlier, the wish must be for the good of the entire uh, family or for, for, the, for everyone involved. Okay? Um, you could maybe have, uh, for some of you or for someone, you may have a family with this person. Look that. Look, look, look. Some wisdom has been gained. Look at that. And that's what we just spoke about. Some wisdom has been gained, been received here, having to do with uh, the, the Ace of Cups, which is on the wall. You see? It's there in the wall on a shelf. So it's almost like this relationship... Even though you remain together, it's like it stopped and it was put on a shelf. And meanwhile, it's like a lot of a lot of fighting has been going on. So let's see if we can't take it back down uh, off of that shelf, you know, and um, and repair any damage that has been done here because it looks like you're uh, feeling very ill. That this is pulling at you emotionally with the world uh, with the world of shadows here. I think there is much in your heart that you would wish to say to this person. Um, here we again, we have the nine of swords. I feel like it's difficult to talk to this person. I feel like it's possible you uh, feel attacked or it's like they attack you uh, verbally, you know, when you uh, attempt to have this talk with them. Um, <clears throat> you could also be, uh, you're obsessing over an empty chair. So you're obsessing over uh possibly that you might lose this person and even though you don't get along you still you still you're still bound together but uh it's the same for them you know they they're feeling the same way it's like uh, you're not getting along you're fighting you're arguing but they they feel as much uh this bond between you as you do okay and so here you are worried over losing them and they are also worried over losing you. And so um, seven, of, uh, seven of Swords is obsessing over, over the Nine of Swords is what you're obsessing over and this empty chair, okay? Uh, fear of losing someone. And so you're wanting clarity. Uh, there could be that the sun has shone its light on a red flag that is causing you a lot of worry. But then again, with the Nine of Swords being here twice, um, that that could be, the, uh, that red flag could be a ghost of the past. Okay, so we must be careful with that Nine of Swords because that could be ghosts of the past, the inner demons um, and the imagination.
And so you feel that things are not as they appear in the home. Um, I mean, it's a house with people living in it, but it's not feeling like a home. And, um, and so you're watching uh, very carefully. I feel like you want to have this discussion. Uh, the emperor is here. This is uh, your uh, sign, Aries. And um, it feels like uh, you you want to have this talk with this person because things are not as, as they appear. And there's a real need uh, within you uh, to want to change things, okay? And I feel like uh, you have been seeking wisdom from the past and this wisdom here, over here, there you are seeking it, over here we see that it is gained, okay? Um, so something comes out of the past that I feel can help your situation, okay, in some way. And um, there's the wisdom right there. He's carrying it in the book. <clears throat> this could have uh, uh, could be something that has taken time for for you to see or to discover, uh, or for it to even come out. Whatever it is that you uh, with the bell, whatever it is that is uh, learned or announced is very important it is of great importance to uh to the wish to the desire uh to this reading something is being illuminated the sun the sunrise here indicates that the sun is going to rise on a situation offering you a new view of it perhaps shedding light after a period of darkness and allowing you to see a situation with fresh new eyes. This can also indicate a fresh new start. That is what I have for you, Aries. I thank you for watching, for liking, and for sharing my videos, and for subscribing. Also, thank you to everyone who has sent in a donation. It is greatly appreciated. Many blessings to all of you.